Hey everyone, we're from the Life Biography channel and here is the story of Mila Kunis, date of birth, August 14, 1983, astrological sign, Leo, Mila Kunis age, 39 years old, occupation, actress, where Mila was born, Ukraine, biography of Mila Kunis, Mila Kunis, whose real name is Milena Markovna Kunis, was born on August 14, 1983 in Chernivtsi, Ukraine. From Ukraine to the United States, born in western Ukraine, Mila Kunis is the daughter of a physics teacher mother and a mechanical engineer. Father. She grew up with her older brother, Michael. Of Jewish faith, the actress's family fled to the United States because of latent antisemitism in the former Soviet Union. She arrived in Los Angeles in 1991. Young Mila Kunis was only seven years old and did not speak a single word of English. She learns the language thanks to a friend of Russian origin. She followed correspondence courses during these early shoots. She is a 2001 graduate of Fairfax High School. Her career television Mila Kunis has only one dream, to be an actress. She was nine when her father enrolled her in acting classes at the Beverly Hills studio. She starts with an advertisement for Barbie dolls, then appears in the TV series Des Jours E.T. Devise and Baywatch in 1994. She also gets a secondary role in the series Seven at Home, as well as in productions such as Santa with Muscles or Honey, We Were Shrunk. She was revealed in 1998 on the sitcom That 70s Show. She is only 14 years old, but pretends to be an 18 year old actress to get the lead role of Jackie Burkhart. The series ran for eight seasons during which she met a certain Ashton Kutcher. Mila Kunis also provided the voice of Meg Griffin in the animated series The Griffins by Seth MacFarlane. She was nominated in 2007 for the Annie Awards in the Best Voice in a Television Animation Production category, Movie Theater. She landed several supporting roles and later appeared opposite Ben Foster and Kirsten Dunst in Get Over It in 2001. She then starred in the sequel to American Psycho, American Psycho 2, All American Girl, which was a commercial failure. After moving Mac Allister in 2005 with John Heater, she is in the 2006 film After Sex with Zoe Saldana. In 2008, she appeared in the comedy Sans Sarah, Rain Any VA with Kristen Bell and Jason Siegel. In the same year, she starred opposite Seth Rogen, Catherine Heigl, Paul Rudd, Leslie Mann, and Jonah Hill in N Blister, which was generally well received and generated $105 million in worldwide revenue. She was nominated for a Teen Choice Awards for this film and the following year for her role in the film adaptation of the video game Max Payne with Mark Wahlberg. In 2009, the young actress appeared opposite Ben Affleck, Jason Bateman and Kristen Wiig in Extract. In the same year, Mila Kunis starred opposite Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman in the action film The Book of Eli, for which she was again nominated for Teen Choice Awards. Mila Kunis is then cast in Crazy Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. In 2010, the consecration comes with the psychological thriller Black Swan, by Darren Aronofsky. Critics praise the film and the actress' performance as Natalie Portman's rival ballerina, both trained by a tyrannical teacher played by Vincent Castle. The film was nominated for an Oscar in five categories, including Best Picture. Mila Kunis' performance in Black Swan earned her the Marcello Mastriani Award at the Venice Film Festival, Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Award nominations. In 2011, Mila Kunis gives the answer to Justin Timberlake in the comedy Sex Between Friends. The film was a box office success with $149 million in revenue. The following year, she found Seth MacFarlane and Mark Wahlberg in the comedy Ted. The film grossed over $500 million. In 2013, Mila Kunis plays directors like Sam Raimi, in The Fantastic World of Oz with Michelle Williams, James Franco and Rachel Wise, or Guillaume Canet, Blood Ties with Marion Cotillard, Clive Owen and Zoe Saldana. After having responded to Liam Neeson, Adrian Brody or James Franco in Puzzle, 2013, Mila Kunis is casting for Second Chance in Brooklyn with Robin Williams or Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. In 2015, the brunette actress appeared in Wachowski's Jupiter, The Matrix, Dot Private Life. In 2002, Mila Kunis is in a relationship with former child star, Macaulay Culkin, Mom, I Missed the Plane. After many rumors of marriages were denied, 
the actress separated from the sulfurious actor in 2011. In the same year, she dated for a short time the singer Justin Timberlake met on the set of Sex Between Amos. Shortly after, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher become a couple. They got engaged in 2014 and then married in secret in 2015. The couple gave birth to a daughter, Wyatt Isabel, born in 2014. In late 2015, rumors reported an imminent split between Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Like actress Mila Jovovich, Mila Kunis holds dual U.S. and Ukrainian citizenship. A sexy woman, after appearing in Esquire magazine's Women We Love video, Esquire and GQ named Mila Kunis the sexiest woman of all time. In 2013, the beautiful brunette was the most desired woman according to FHM, Men's Health and Ask Men magazines. I in the same year, Mila Kunis became one of Dior's muses, alongside Marion Cotillard and Jennifer Lawrence for the Miss Dior handbags, Mila Kunis relationships, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, Jennifer Lawrence, Scarlett Johansson, Justin Timberlake, Rihanna, Mila Kunis films, Jupiter, The Destiny of the Universe, Puzzle, Blood Ties, Ted, The Fantastic World of Oz, Sex with Friends, We Are Producing. Videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays here on the channel, if you liked it, don't forget to leave your like and activate the notification bell to stay on top of all the news, I'll wait for you in the next video.